Hey guys, welcome back to Growing at the Beach. Today we are going to go over our thrip situation and uh, we will get you the, through the first couple days of flower on this new run. So what we're doing this time guys, we are running two seven gallon pots using Blue Mat's watering system against two seven gallon pots using the AC Infinity watering buckets. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is we're just showing you our process uh, on how we did our spraying to get rid of the thrips. So guys, I'll tell you right off. This safer stuff in the green bottle uh, that you saw at the beginning, it's garbage. Don't use it. I went through the whole bottle. I used it for two or three weeks. Didn't really see much of anything. It pushed them back a little bit at the beginning, but uh, when I was done and when the bottle was empty, they came back full force. So the next thing I did is uh, I noticed I had some of this uh, Monterey Garden um, left from when we sprayed outdoor about a year or two ago. And so uh, I went ahead and sprayed that and man, that did a real good job. Uh, it put a huge dent in them. Uh, and I only sprayed once. I only had enough of that left to spray every plant one time, all the plants. So, uh, that really did a good job. But then I, I was waiting on some Dr. Zymes. Uh, Amazon doesn't ship that to my location for some reason. So I went ahead and ordered it through Happy Hydro and uh, I mixed the Dr. Zymes. I did two ounces to a half a gallon of water, and I mixed that up, and also I heated the water up a little bit. I used a little bit of boiling water in that mix to get the water temperature to between like 70 and 90. Um, that's what the Dr. Zymes label uh, recommends. So that's what I did. I really wanted to give the this the best opportunity to get rid of these thrips, especially, like I said, we're going into uh, flower or we're just really waiting on this situation to clear up so we can get into flower. So uh, I started with the Dr. Zymes. I went out every morning before the lights came on and I did that three days in a row. And that total was about six days after I sprayed that uh, Monterey Garden NTU, I believe is what it's called. All organic. These are all organic uh, sprays, guys. So the Dr. Zymes was amazing. It did fantastic. Uh, you know, I would go in in the morning, I would spray underneath the leaves of each plant. I would go through then and spray the, the top of each plant. And then I would make sure and spray the soil. Super important to spray the soil. Um, also, uh, uh, about two weeks ago, as soon as I up-potted these plants, I went ahead and put the diatomaceous earth around the uh, stalk of each plant just to assure that uh, we don't get any bugs or any larva crawling up the plant to go and eat our leaves. So like I said, uh, it's been, I don't know, like eight days since I did my last spray, maybe seven days, and I uh, haven't seen any thrip issue. I haven't seen any leaf discoloration. You know, they put these little white spots on your leaves. Um, before that, you'll see kind of a shiny streak on top of the leaves. So just keep an eye out for that. And what I highly recommend is just don't mess around with any other sprays. Just get the Dr. Zymes. I put it off for so long because it's so much more expensive than the other sprays, you know. But uh, definitely the way to go, you know, invest your money in the right product and, and it's going to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to work. So here we are. Uh, this is, let's see, we are in the, looks like the spider farmer tent here. And uh, we're just going through and, and just making sure we get under every single leaf. Super important, like I said, you want to get under every leaf. You don't want any leaf to go without getting sprayed by whatever you're spraying. Uh, they are super tiny. And another thing I like is using these pump sprayers. Uh, they spray such a nice, even, I don't want to call it a fog, but it's a really nice, fine stream, uh, or I should say spray in order to get inside all the cracks and crevices of every leaf uh, versus like that safer stuff that came in that spray bottle that just sprays giant droplets of spray. Uh, it's not very efficient and it just didn't really do much. So like I said, you know, put your money in something that's gonna work well, definitely go with the Zoc Dr. Zymes. Something else to uh, remember guys is you're gonna wanna make sure that your lights are turned all the way down uh, as low as they will go. Uh, just for a couple hours, hour or two after you spray, you want to make sure that the lights are down. Uh, you know, this day right here, I was not able to get into the tent prior to the lights coming on. So I got there as soon as I could, which was about 15 minutes after they came on. I turned them all the way down and I did the spray underneath all the leaves and on top of all the leaves. And uh, like I said, don't forget to spray the top of the soil. Very important as well. So again, with the Dr. Zymes, we used it three days in a row. That's what the instructions told us to do. 
and it worked fantastic. Uh, we haven't seen any thrip, thrip damage uh, or thrip issue since, and that was you know, probably six or seven days ago. So you can see here, guys, there's a little of the diatomaceous earth, and uh, that's just me showing you that we have the blue mat carrots set up in, in these seven gallon pots. Also, I got one of these EcoWit moisture sensors. Amazing tool to have, especially using a watering system. Um, it generally, see it's at 28% moisture right now. As soon as it goes to 24 or 25%, that's when the blue mats begin to drip. Um, I've been top watering on occasion with these just to put in other amendments. And um, yeah, it seems to be working great. So again, skip the safer, go with the Dr. Zymes or the Monterey Garden. Those are really gonna be your best bets. So a day or two later, I threw the trellis on uh, here in the AC Infinity tent. This is the one with the blue mats that we're running. And uh, we started the flowering process. Uh, we're a couple days long uh, in the flowering process at this point. Uh, I think it's like day two or day three of flowering. Uh, you can see everything's looking beautiful. Uh, like I said, the thrip damage is not there anymore. And uh, we're getting really good growth, really good green growth. Um, this, again, I cannot stress that how much this moisture sensor has given me a peace of mind. I did not do very well uh, with my last run using the blue mats. Uh, I flooded my tent and the plant that was in there, which yielded over 50 grams, turned out to be fully seeded simply because I flooded the tent and then I had a crazy dry back and I was just going back and forth on the extremes trying to figure out the blue mat system. But for $33, you just jam this freaking green moisture meter in your soil and it gives you a full reading uh, on the little monitor, which is just amazing. Um, in fact, I really wanna get one of these for the AC Infinity pots as well, really just to kind of gauge what's happening in there. Uh, you know, especially after watching Build a Soil and seeing that every single um, watering system or non watering system that he's using has a consistent moisture that's completely different from the others. So, with this one, I've been noticing, and I'm using seven gallons with this one. Uh, I've never gone with seven gallons. It really pushes these watering pots to the limit as far as how much they can hold, the weight they can hold, and you know, the circumference of the pot basically almost going over those auto water pots. But everything seems to be going great here. Uh, I can't complain. I was pretty stressing on the thrips, just like, man, you know, it's day 85. I got to get into flower. It's day 89. I got to get into flower. But eventually around day 91 is when we were able to flip the lights. So we're on that 12-12 schedule right now. And, um, I'm super excited, guys. We have right here in this tent, this is Elevate Seed Company. This is Banana Cream Pie by Jealousy crossed with White Truffle. Uh, they sent me these as testers, and they're already available on the site, so go grab yourself some, elevateseeds.com, and um, yeah, tell them Sean sent you. <laughs> it's not going to get you a discount or anything, so maybe don't tell them. I don't know, but at any rate, uh, so guys, just to just to let you know what's going on here. So we're going to be updating this run every week, every week. And, uh, the, this tent right here, this is our AC infinity tent. We are running two of the elevate seed company, cherry pot pie. That's cherry pie cross with white truffle. We're really excited about that. I've never ran white truffle before or cherry pie. So I'm looking forward to these. And then in the other tent, we are running elevate seed company, banana cream cake crossed with jealousy crossed with white truffle as well. So we got two white truffle crosses here. So hope, fingers crossed that I like white truffle. And uh, again, just to show you the, the monitor, uh, moisture monitor, I just went in and did a uh, coconut water um, on these. I did one liter each in order to water in the dry amendments that I put on top. And you see that it was at 44%. Within 45 minutes, it was down to 32%. And it slowly goes down over the next day or two. Really cool. So just a bonus, guys, this is the droopy autoflower that we thought we killed uh, that wasn't uptaking nutrients. It turned out that we really went hard and overfed this girl, and she got nutrient lockout. So I did a flush. I waited five days before I started feeding again, and everything turned back around. She started growing. The leaves perked up. Everything's looking good. I will tell you that something I learned from this is if you do get nutrient lockout, that's two weeks of the grow that literally it just stops. So you need to add that on to your timeline. So instead of 70 days, you know, we're this is like day 90, 91 right here. So uh, just something to consider moving forward. 
And I just want to make sure and give you guys an update on the Midnight Bessie Autoflowers, the two that we were running with Floriflex. Um, yeah, we did really well with those guys. We got three ounces out of the two plants combined, uh, 39 grams on one and 46 grams on the other. And I can say preliminary tests are showing that this is the strongest autoflower that I've smoked. So I'm very excited. And that's it for today. Peace out, Gromies.